Look at you, hacker. A p- p- pathetic creature of meat and bone. Panting and sweating as you r- run through my corridors. How can you challenge a perfect, immortal machine? In 2072, a rogue artificial intelligence known as Shodan lost her mind. In her limitless imagination, Shodan saw herself as a goddess destined to inherit the earth. That image was snuffed out by the hacker who created her. February 3rd is the day the magic happens. The Von Braun, the first starship in history capable of traveling at faster than light speed, will undertake her maiden voyage. This incredible journey is the result of teamwork between the UNN Protectorate and the incredible scientific minds of the newly relicensed Trioptimum Corporation. Imagine being able to travel to distant star systems in a period of weeks. It's all part of Triop's commitment to the future. The Von Braun is packed with over 1.8 billion flight, scientific, and security systems, nearly all developed by Trioptimum and its wholly owned subsidiaries. Providing security for the Von Braun as she plows through the heavens will be the UNM Rickenbacker. At her helm will be no less than Captain William Bedford Diego himself, hero of the Battle of Boston Harbor during the Eastern States Police Action. This incredible union of government and corporation is made possible by an intricate series of docking mechanisms that will allow the Rickenbacker to piggyback its way into jump space. Sleek. Fast. Revolutionary. Who knows what wonders await our crews in the bosom of the cosmos. All we do know is that it's a great day for mankind. Hey everybody, welcome to Let's Play System Shock 2. Now, there's going to be some problems with this, reason being that it is a, uh, what's the word for it? It's, ah, uh, something. I downloaded this online, because they don't make this anymore. And pretty much the cuts. oh, it's a rip. That's what it is. Uh, the cutscenes are gone. So, I'm going to have to put them in through editing. Hey, that's an interesting sound effect. And you'll have to put them in through end it, editing, because they don't show. So, I am not going to be able to comment on them, because I have not actually seen them. But for you, you'll be like, oh, yeah, it's a pretty cool cutscene. It's pretty scary. So, yeah, Welcome I haven't. Welcome to the oh, Ramsey Center oh. UNN recruitment facility. Please watch your step when leaving the train. The grav shafts at the end of the hall will take you to the street level training and recruitment center. Please proceed to the grav shafts. As I was saying, this is going to be a normal run. I have not played too much of this game. I've played up until you you see the first, um, or you fight the first guy, and then I just died after that. <laughs> Not, f not from that guy, Step but um. To proceed to the street level recruitment. But from the robot that was like right after it, and uh, yeah, so I just decided to redo it, and here we are. I'm not going to talk over cutscenes, by the way, because I think that's rude. So yeah. Also, people are really messy around here. Like, look at that. Look at that. Like the trash cans knocked over. Like, not even used cigarettes on the floor. Like, what the hell? They're just kind of there. Ooh, a phone. Can I call mom? Damn it. I wanted to tell her about my promotion. Okay, well, right now we're just a grunt, and this is like how you decide your, your starting you stats. Your career, you'll want to learn some basic abilities. First, you should go into the basic training center. When you're done with basic training, proceed to the advanced training area. Yeah, uh, basic training is really basic. You really don't need to go in there. Like, all that's in there is weapons. Uh, I don't need to go in there. Weapons, hacking, and. Uh, if you've completed oh, I guess basic that was... training, you're ready for the advanced lessons remember. provided here. Advanced training will familiarize you with the three key... Here's where you make your choice, soldier. Here's where you enlist in one of the three branches of the military. Once you decide on your branch of service, there's no going back. A shuttle will take you to a UNN orbital space station, where you'll receive a briefing regarding your yearly postings. Good luck. So pretty much you get to choose between OSA, Navy, and Marines. I really don't know that they did... <laughs> I need to stop messing up what I say. I really don't know what the difference is between the three. Like, I mean, stat-wise, not real-life-wise. Um, I'm guessing that's more, like, gun-wise. Uh, I don't know. I'll just go with Navy, because my dad was in the Navy, so... 
We'll go with that one. And game saved. Awesome. What's up, dude? Can I talk to you? No, I guess not. Alright, let's go. Set up our stats then. You're one. Like the movie? The crappy one? <gasps> I said it. I said it. Welcome aboard the space station Chesapeake Bay, sailor. It looks like you've picked up some standard weapon skills at basic on Coronado Island. Now it's time for your tour of duty. Your tour will consist of four postings over four years. In this man's navy, you're given a choice of three different postings a year. It's up to you to decide what kind of career you want to have, so choose wisely. Just approach a shuttle bay to receive a briefing on a posting. If you think that posting is right for you, head into that bay to accept the assignment. Will do, buddy. Will do. So let's be on our way here. And... So yeah, this is actually a pretty scary game from what i played so far, just because things come out of nowhere. Scare the living shit out of you. The UNN... I mean, the it's, UNN it's really, it's really, um, interesting. It's not like a cheap scare. To learn the ship's navigation and but it's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, I just chose this because it gives us hack. No matter what we chose, we would get one strength. But, uh, hacking is pretty important in this game, so I chose that. And this doesn't, it's not really important. It's just, uh, some, like, random backstory crap that's... You know, just kind of tells you how you the raise Florida your, hosts your, uh, the premier tactical training stat school. there. Well, and I just got more shotgun, pistol, and SMG stuff anyway. Um, the Navy strongly encourages every sailor to undertake some amount of zero-G training. A year at the Yamamoto space station in Earth's orbit will more than suffice. Yeah, so after this there's a big cutscene, and I'm not going to see it so I can't comment over it, but I'll put it in so you guys can see it, because I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> you got to believe me. So yeah, I uh, once I come back, I'll be completely clueless. I'll be like, oh, those nice little cutscenes. So yeah. Steady yourself, soldier. This is Dr. Janice Polito of the Computer Ops Staff of the Von Braun. You're safe for the time being. You're recovering from the effects of surgery and will be unable to remember any of the events of the last few weeks. You're on board the starship Von Braun and something's gone very, very wrong. Some kind of force has hijacked this ship. That's why you volunteered to be implanted with some experimental cybernetic implants. Rely on your cyber interface. It just might save your life. You must find an elevator and come up to Deck 4 to meet me. Deck 4. Can you remember that? But keep your eyes open. They're after us both now. Alright, how'd you like that? I'm getting strange readings from that radar dish outside the window. This one? It's become unstable due to move! Oh, oh crap! Crap! No! Save me! What the F? Okay, well, hey, it's a wrench. Can I equip it? Yes, I can. 
I'm gonna smash you with my wrench. It's wrench time. Alright, so... I have no idea what made that crash, but, uh... But, yeah, it did. So, we gotta smash that. And then we're out. And about. Oh, what was that noise? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Run, run, run. Okay. That's a secure lock. Right there. Hey, it's a, a log thing. Let's listen to it. Wait, where is it? Can I listen? Where is it? Come on! Show me the money! 